Uh, good morning, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. I have not really noticed I have been asked to give a famous speech in sociology. Uh, I, uh, yeah, uh, I, I am a sociologist, and um, I've been working in the field of sociology of education and culture, which perhaps also has something to do with the theme of this conference. Um, in any case, on behalf of the Chinese U University of Hong Kong, I'm very delighted to join the opening ceremony of the inaugural CUHK Research Summit, uh, Digital Methods and Social Development. Uh, allow me to share a very warm welcome to all participants and guests who share our professional enthusiasm and our intellectual curiosity in digital methods. Uh, as you see, I'm not very enthusiastic because I'm not using any of the new media or new age uh, uh, agents, digital agents. Uh, well, when, when you're getting older, you can afford to be a bit uh, luxurious in using anything you like. Okay, uh, let me be a bit old-fashioned, back to my old-fashioned way. Uh, for those who visit our university for the first time, uh, I hope you will enjoy this beautiful and beloved campus, the largest one uh, in Hong Kong. Uh, I would also like to extend my great appreciation to all the keynote speakers and leading researchers from around the world for your support, especially to Professor Richard Rogers and the University of Amsterdam team who have been on the cutting edge of this very new research frontier, who have also been extremely kind in collaborating with us in the Chinese University. I would also like to extend my special welcome to our students, uh, researchers uh, from, our partner uh, from our partner universities and institutions in the Worldwide Universities Network, who have shown tremendous support to this research summit and summer training program on issues related to digital media, social development, and the latest social science research methods, such as mining, web analytics, and big data analysis. The university was founded in 1963. We aim not only to uphold and advancing research in academia, but also take the social responsibility to apply our to in applying our studies to improve the human communities. This aim echoes with the goal of this research summit that we all want to use advanced digital methods to better understand the social phenomenon in the digital age, and therefore contribute to various forms and themes of social development, including equality, diversity, and sustainability that are of fundamental importance to the everyday well-being of human beings. Now, in the coming days, Hong Kong will, this place, Hong Kong, will experience two very important uh, elections. Two weeks from now, the 2016 Hong Kong Legislative Council election will take place. This will be a very crucial event for our democratic institution or democratizing uh, institutions. If we search the keyword online, we are likely to be overwhelmed by the information provided by the digital media, or we may have already received too many of them that my, even my mother last night told me which one of them I should throw away because I have thrown too many of them already. So we are being more selective now in throwing things away instead of keeping them. But that's from my mother, again, old, old fashioned. Uh, now, uh, we, we, we are all experiencing this. What do all this uh, mean to us? One of the factors that influence people's decision making in this election, are there any problems in the online media and communication processes? What are the implications for a long-term shifting paradigm of voting behavior and nation building within which a transnational or global culture is shaping much of its internal institutions through this new media culture and practice. Hong Kong, as you all know, is a cosmopolitan city where East meets West, becoming or being or bearing cosmopolitanism in mind. We host this summit as a bridge that, that connects leading scholars from more than 30 universities and research institutions around the world. 
We believe that digital methods go beyond the borders of nation and culture, language and academic discipline. After all, digital media have been a genuinely global phenomenon that has influenced us all, regardless of conventional boundaries. Most importantly, we also believe that digital methods should not merely serve the interest of certain specific or privileged social groups in our society, where digital divide research have for a long time working on this. Um, it is our hope that through this research summit, we will explore together the path to the delivery of public goods using digital methods. Towards this goal, we need to build even more bridges between the academia and political groups, concerned citizens, NGOs, and social enterprises. To conclude, if and when everyone gets carried away by this all-round digital, and a digital culture is firmly institutionalized in our society, when we try to land on uh, very, very, what we call, well, individualism has already command much of our social scene. And in now, when we try to land on much of our self, where the self is being put in a very, very public platform, how are we going to tip a balance between an already very self, egoistic self, and a good society? I hope we all remember what sociologist Durkheim has reminded us. The, ego, the extreme egoistic, egoistic self perhaps will threaten an integration of a good society. And now we are complicating things even more. Uh, how does all these things work out organizationally and connected or even discoupled? To this end, perhaps I would wish every participant a very fruitful, inspiring, and creative research summit today, and the most fulfilling uh, next few days in your training workshops. Thank you again. <laughs>